Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Friends plugin. Now, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to add friends on your Minecraft server, and if you're friends with someone, it gives you some really awesome benefits. So you can see their status, you can see whether they're online or not, you can teleport to them, and there are loads of other different features. So first of all, we're going to go through the commands and the GUI, and then we'll look at the config file and what we can change in there. So first of all, if we do forward slash f help and then help 2 and 3 to see all of the different commands, uh, they're all very straightforward, so you can add, remove, block, accept, deny and accept all requests. And then you can block players, unblock and toggle requests whether you want uh, people to be able to add you or not. And down at the bottom you can do forward slash f jump to a player, or friend I should say, uh, which is effectively teleporting. So there are two ways of pretty much adding people. You could either use uh, the commands here or you can go up and left click someone. Now it says LT Jim is already our friend. Now what we can do there, we can actually remove him as our friend by doing F remove and then LT Jim 007 and it says he is no longer our friend. So what we're going to do to add him is left click him with this item we have in our inventory left click and that will send a friend request. So let's look at his perspective to see what happens. So we're on my other account now and as you can see there is an awesome message in chat. It's very colourful and it says who the friend request is from and whether you want to accept or deny it. So the cool thing about this is you don't type anything in chat. You literally click on the um, screen and it will work. So let's go ahead and click accept and it will say LC Jim is now your friend. So let's go ahead and right click the item in our inventory and in here there is a lot. So up at the top it will list all of your friends, it will say whether they're online or not, which world they're in, and it will give them a status. So you can set your status two ways. You can either do it via the GUI, which I'll show you in a minute, or you can type full slash status and then whatever you want. So I don't know, doing um, mining or whatever. And um, that will allow you to change your status. But you can obviously only change it every 10 minutes. Um, as you can see there. So let's go back into the GUI and have a look at everything in here. So we have all of our requests and you can accept all, you can accept them individually or you can deny all. And then we have a list of block players which you can either unblock if you're feeling generous or unblock all. Then the options menu. This is pretty cool. So the easiest way to use this is using the toggle feature. So you click the item here. If it's green that means it's enabled and grey is obviously disabled. Very straightforward. Then we have requests, so you can enable and disable this. The friend chat, which is very awesome. You can privately chat to all of your friends. The jumping feature, which is effectively teleporting. Then we have private messages, and finally, private mode. So whether you want to be shown as online or offline to your friends. Over in the left corner, this is how you set your status in the GUI. So click this, and an anvil will pop up, and you can just type whatever you want, and it will change. But obviously, uh, we still need to wait for the cooldown. So that is everything in the GUI. Uh, let's have a quick look at the commands um, to see what we can do with that. So if we do for this F jump and then my other account, we will teleport to him or jump to him. If we do forward slash F toggle, followed by jumping, or not my username, jumping in fact, that will toggle on and off jumping whether you want to allow it or you can use the GUI. If we do forward slash F toggle and then spy chat, this is an admin command, this will allow you to spy on people's friends chat to make sure they're not plotting anything or doing anything wrong. And obviously you can disable that by doing the same command. A really awesome one is forward slash F chat and that will enter the friend chat. So now when we type messages, you will see it says friends LT Jim and that will go out to all of my friends and it's secret. So nobody else can see it apart from admins who use that particular command. And if you repeat the command, it will turn it off and chatting will be back to normal and everyone else in the server can see it. And I believe that is pretty much everything. If we do F info, it will say F info. It will say it's made by Hycrod. It's a really awesome plugin. It has loads of different features. So I suggest you get it for your server. But that is everything in game. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. And if we go into our file manager, and then find the friends 3.0 folder, we can see there are three YML files. Now in here, you can set up a MySQL database. Let's look at this very, very quickly. If you have one, you can plug in all of your information here and set it up like that, but you don't need to, of course. Then if we go into messages.yml in here, as the name would suggest, 
Uh, you can change the prefix and the colors and formatting of all the messages, but this is pretty unnecessary. You don't need to do that at all. So let's go back to the config, which is the most important one that you can change. So in here, there is a lot you can change. Up at the top, you can change the prefix if you'd like. You can set up Bungie mode and allow players to see which servers their friends are on if you have multiple. If you do at friends in chat, it will actually send the message into the friend chat without doing the command. Then whether you want spy chat to be enabled for admins, and obviously they will need permission to be able to use that. Scroll down a bit more and you can have a party system if you use this plugin here and have Bungie mode enabled. Then we have some options about the plugin. So how many friends do you want people to have? Do you want a max? And do you want maybe donators and admins to have even more friends? So you can have this permission and it will allow you to have 50 friends. Then we have some cool features such as enable jumping, whether your friends can PVP each other, uh, where they can drop items and all of that good stuff and join and quit messages. Scroll down a bit more and you can see that it uh, shows the world that a player's in, shows when they're last online, which is a cool feature. And we have the friend item that we used. So this will be given on join, but you might not want this. So you could disable that if you really wanted to. So just put false if you do not want that option. Then if we go down, uh, we can set the item. Um, the item is obviously a head, a player head, and looks really cool, but you could change that and you can change the location in the inventory by changing this number. And then we get to the GUI. Now the GUI looks fantastic in my opinion. It's very easy to navigate, everything looks good, so you don't need to edit this. But obviously you could change various items, locations of items, and formatting of laws and names. But that is pretty unnecessary, so don't worry about all of that. If we scroll down to the bottom, there's a few more options. You can set disabled worlds, enabled worlds, and disabled and enabled servers. So if you don't want it to work in a particular world or server, you just stick it here, very straightforward, and it will work. So go ahead and make a new line and type whatever world you want. I don't know, test world. If we scroll back to the top and click save, that will save everything in our SM Picnic control panel that we've done. So that is how you use it. You can download it for free in the link in the description. Make sure you do that. If you want the server, make sure you go to serverminer.com for the best and cheapest around. If you want more plugins, check out me. That'll be in the description. But that's it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.